हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू कन्वर्ट एन ऑर्थोग्राफिक प्रोजेक्शन इनटू एन आइसोमेट्रिक व्यू सो ए फिगर इज गिवन टू यू ऑन द स्क्रीन यू कैन सी दिस इज द फ्रंट व्यू ऑफ द फिगर दिस इज द टॉप व्यू ऑफ द फिगर इन द फर्स्ट एंगल प्रोजेक्शन the orthographic projection is given to you right so for this we need to construct the isometric view let us start before we start this figure you need to turn on the iso draft go to iso draft press enter and select isoplane right click on isoplane right turn on the ortho mode let us turn on object snap first of all we will draw this line of 30 mm this is 30 this is 80 and this is again 30 you see this is 30 this is 80 so when you are when you are turning on the ortho mode automatically you will be able to draw in isoplane right this is 30 again now from the center draw a line of 50 mm because the height is 50 so we'll reach here then 10 mm on this side 10 mm on this side again Fifteen, ten, then again ten. Turn off ortho mode, and let us join it over here. Similarly, on the other side also. Turn on ortho mode. This is ten. Again ten. Turn off ortho and join it with this point. So this line we can delete from the center also. Let us delete these two lines. Right now we need to construct this. Right. the line command again so it is 20 down on ortho mode 20 downwards 20 towards this direction and then again 20 upwards right so you can see this the front view we have constructed successfully now what we need to do is it is 50 you can see over here okay so what we will be doing we will be just drawing a line of 50 mm in this direction we need to change the direction press f5 right so draw a line of 50 mm This is fifty. Now no need to construct this because this the same uh, surface will be drawn at the rear end also, right? So you need not construct it again. So you just copy this. Go to copy command. Take this as a base point. Just click over here. right after this you have to join the corresponding points so you can just copy this line go to copy command turn off ortho mode it will be easy for you to draw click over here 
Look over here. Here. On all the visible corners, you can just click over here. Right, so this figure we have constructed. Let us increase the line weight. One mm. Now we have completed the figure. So we'll convert all the lines which are not visible from outside. We'll convert those into hidden lines. So let us identify those lines. So this is the one line, second. This will also not be visible. This one and this one right so for this first of all let us decrease the thickness because it will be medium line hidden line is a medium thickness line let us take it to 0 0.60 now let us load the hidden line right click over here go to other Go to load. Let us see where are hidden lines. So these are the three hidden lines. Let us select these three hidden lines. Press OK. Now let us select these lines. Then Select hidden line. Let us say like this is the hidden line. We have selected the hidden lines. But the hidden lines are not visible to us. So for this there is a command known as LT scale. Right LT scale. Let us increase the scale. Let the scale be is equal to 10. So you can see somewhat it is visible let us again use it lt scale let us make it 15 okay now the hidden lines are also visible clearly right so we have completed the figure let us do the dimensioning now go to linear dimensioning This is 30. Again go to linear dimensioning. This is equal to 50. Right then. Let us go to aligned dimensioning. This is 50. Line dimensioning. This is ten. This is twenty. This is also ten. This is 20 mm. Right, I think. Okay. 80 mm is left. Line dimensioning. So this is equal to 80 mm. Right. So let us 
go to dim edit command and let us change the orientation of the dimension go to oblique select the objects select these dimensions press enter so for these we will be selecting the angle as 30 degree so just see these have been changed to 30 degree then for these all the dimensions again we will be using dim edit command go to oblique select the angle as 90 degree so the orientation of all these dimensions have been changed let us just change the direction of this 10 mm O20 upwards now it is ok so this is the solution to this question in which we have converted the orthographic projection into isometric view i suppose this is clear to you thank you very much